Welcome to Fright Time. Today we have an iconic classic Universal Monsters mask. But before we get into that, if you haven't already, like the channel, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any content that we produce, and check back weekly. Always uploading stuff. Leave a comment below, let us know what you think. Here we have a Elusive Concepts mask. Elusive Concepts was a studio that was founded by Mario Chodo, and um, they produced a bunch of different masks. They're mostly known for their Star Wars busts and oversized, like, um, goblin type creatures, witch masks, really like mystical stuff. But they did a Universal Monsters line and this is Dracula from that line uh, it's very very close representation to Bela Lugosi especially with the eyebrows and the whole stare he's got going on the teeth are completely different there on the bottom and uh, I don't even think Lugosi had vampire teeth anyways this is a very beautiful uh, sculpt I like the way it's cracking in the forehead and it, I don't, I'm not one for economy versions like where there's no real hair punched or hair added to the sculpt but this is beautifully done and it doesn't look bad at all it looks like it's natural um, I like that the fangs are on the bottom it's a cool little different representation of a vampire it's cool the eyes are still in the piece because it gives it more of a character presence this mask was from 1995 and it's an elusive concepts mask. I like how there's also the representation of the clothing. So you don't need to really get a cape. I mean, obviously get a cape, but you don't need a collar. You could use anything. I like how back in the day, Halloween masks really let you be artistic and creative with your costumes. Such as adding elements of the cape into the mask, whereas you could use a sheet. Uh, I'm going to show you some some classic ads. And now for some close-ups. Visit us today and dress your flesh. 